So your body has natural endocannabinoid receptors, which means that your body actually makes small amounts of what you find in um, weed. But when you start smoking weed, you actually bring your body to a rest and make it the amounts that your body deems necessary. Which means that when you smoke weed, you're actually putting your body in a dependency upon external um, sources and amounts of uh, cannabinoids. Which means that when you smoke weed, your body's natural feel-good chemical, I don't want to use the word endorphin. That's a painkiller. Cannabinoids are something totally different. But the fact that your body makes a certain amount and when you smoke weed, which means that when you smoke weed, why would you smoke weed? Uh, everybody has different reasons, but some people, their bodies were born malfunctioning at birth. If your parents were using certain drugs when you were born, then the amount of cannabinoids that would satisfy you have actually been altered, which means that you might have to smoke weed because when you were in the womb, there were certain uh, amounts of cannabinoids that compromised your body's own ability to make those cannabinoids, which means that as soon as you were born, you were well on your way to becoming an addict if you started smoking weed and continue to the point where you needed more of that hedonistic chemical I don't know what you call it. It's different for every drug, I guess. I guess it's, let me see. What is it called? Um, it's on that movie, uh, I Come in Peace. It's endorphins, I guess it's endorphins. It's like, it's like when you give your body certain drugs, your body creates another drug, like uh, currency exchange. Like saying, if you give me these dollars, I will convert them into ruples. Like saying, if you get, your body's like saying, if you give me weed, then I'll produce endorphins based upon you giving me a certain amount of weed. And then you can trick your body by giving your body extraneous amounts of what you need. And then you end up becoming addicted. And then when you become addicted, you got to add dick to your life in order to maintain getting those higher amounts of whatever that chemical is. And now I'm going to be hated for this video. And if I'm not hated every day, then that means that my life is not normal. So me being hated, if you hate me, that means you care. If you don't care, you don't hate what you don't care about. You just don't care. That's apathy. Hate comes from love or a frustrated sense of admiration. Peace, peace. He's a bounty hunter. He's being paid to follow me. That's why I changed course. And I announced my changing of course because I can't be stopped. I'm unstoppable. I can tell everybody where I'm going, they still can't stop me. Green bounty hunters. There's a bounty on your head, Ken. Yep. And if you perform cunnilingus, there's a booty on your head. Bounty and a booty.